Hi, my name is Jesper Peterson. You have likely heard that quite a few times if you watch the QML introduction videos that I've done. I do have other superpowers. I'm not good at being modest is one of them. The other one is that I've actually done quite a bit of work with ModelView. ModelView is this facility in Qt that allows you to separate the business logic and the UI. And you use that especially for list, for tables and for trees. Sounds simple, right? Anybody that tried will realize it's not simple. It's far from simple. It's actually the most complex things that exist in Qt. And the trees is where things get really, really complex. And then on top of that, you add proxy models, you add your own delegates, and you're in for quite a bit of work. In KDAP, we've done more than a thousand trainings involving ModelView. Myself, over the last two decades, I've done a hundred trainings more or less, and most of those have a whole day of ModelView in it. So this is a section from our training material I know extremely well. And I've seen our students really go from not understanding at all what this is about up to being pretty powerful with it. So join me in a, a one day long model view training where we will go from knowing absolutely nothing about it up until a very high level. And even if you know something about it, even if you have created your own list models and possibly table models and perhaps been struggling a bit, but cut and pasted your way into a tree model, this might also be the training for you. So please do subscribe and I will see you there. If you're interested in knowing a bit more what is in this training, hang on and I'll tell you about it. So first, first of all, the format is gonna be pretty much close to what we have in our regular classroom trainings. That is those trainings where you travel to say Berlin or I travel to wherever you are located and we are in front of each other face to face. So for this to work, we have decided to have a, an upper limit that is really low uh, of how many people will be in the class. So you're not gonna see a training just like a Udemy or something where somebody's just presenting something and you're trying to stay awake. No, no, this is gonna be a training where we'll, we'll, be, we'll be seeing each other and where we'll be eye to eye. You will be asking questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And there'll be exercises. There'll be three or four exercises in this uh, uh, training where you'll get your hands deep down into the, the material of what is modern view about. We'll start out with simple one-dimensional or two-dimensional models, that is list models and table models. And that helps us build the foundation of what is model view really about and to understand what it's about. And it might sound like, hey, that's just trivial. Let's just get to the real hard part. But it's a very good thing for us to discuss up front what does data really mean? What is a Q variant? And so on and so on. Then we'll turn to the tree or models, namely to build trees as uh, the user interface. That part we're gonna spend, I guess, an hour and a half, two hours in total on uh, alone, because that is where it's really, really complex. And you'll do an, an exercise where I'll bet you that you're gonna grow quite a few more gray hairs during that exercise. We'll finish up the day talking about uh, two things that are crucial to have a good grasp on, uh, namely proxy models. Proxy models is this concept where you have your base model down here somewhere and then you build on top of that. So the viewer is looking into the topmost proxy model, which looks into the proxy model underneath it and so on. And these proxy models can be as simple as highlighting a color or they can be very complex proxy models. We'll see them. Well, we'll not see them all because there's an infinite amount of proxy models, but we'll see examples of many different proxy models. And finally, we're going to talk about delegates. Delegates is the concept of, if you think of a table, your table might just be regular spreadsheet lookalike, but you might also want to have one of the cells be a progress bar or another cell be a, uh, and where the input is done using some complex uh, UI that you create yourself. That is what delegates is all about. This training, I need to say at last, is focused on widgets developer. So if you are a QML developer, 
sure, feel free to join us uh, if there are seats available and uh, you'll, you'll get a very good understanding of what's going on in uh, the model view framework in, in Qt. But you will definitely uh, find stuff in there that is less applicable. We'll talk about roles, for example, which doesn't make any sense in a QML context. Anyway, I hope to see you and uh, see you soon.